Welcome to Digital Toolbox. Today we're going to go over the unroll surface command and the smash command in Rhino. These two commands are basically the same in the sense that they get you the same results. So the first thing I'm going to do is move my object away from the origin since Rhino will place our unfolded surfaces um, near the origin. So I'm going to type in unroll surface and then it'll give you some options explode and labels. I put yes in the explode and yes on the labels to make sure that I'm going to have labels on my surfaces so I know how to put it back together. And then hit enter. It'll unroll it for you at the origin. And then if you zoom in, you can see the numbers around it. From here, you can export to AutoCAD or Illustrator to have it fabricated. I'm going to move this out of the way. I'm going to re-highlight my object and then I'm going to show you what Smash does typing smash into the command, I'll ask you the linear direction natural, natural will do what the unroll surface does but if you click on the natural you can pick on you can pick in the U or V direction which means that it can unroll in the X direction or it unrolls in the Y direction so we'll go over both and you can see a difference so I'm gonna pick U and explode yes, labels yes and it looks exactly like the unroll the unroll surface. I'll move this out of the way and I'm going to go over the V direction. I pick the direction to be V. So now you can see that the objects are unrolled differently. It's just a matter how you want to place your objects. Sometimes doing this will save you more space when you print them out. So that's the difference between smash and unroll surface commands and this makes mass modeling a lot easier and thanks for watching.